I love animals and weapons, so I'm gonna find some way to combine them. Hey, this is Billy Benison, B I L E Benison. I was calling. I bought uh, the that level three, the the uh, K9 bulletproof vest about six months back. I took it out with uh, Jameson, my dog. We were hunting and uh, didn't see anything, so I to, to try it out. I shot I shot that I shot that daggum dog maybe eight times. Seven of those times actually hit the dog and or the, hit the vest, and that thing worked like a like a charm. Just like you guys said, I was very impressed. Uh, the question I had was, now my, I take my boy hunting with me all the time. He's 12, basically the same size as the dog. Now the question I had, we've had, my son and I have had a few, four or five close calls hunting, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I was wondering, if I could get that vest strapped on my boy and, and take him out hunting, you know, because I'm all about safety or whatever, it, would that, as long as I can get him on him, is that going to protect him just like it protected uh, Jameson? Uh let me see if I heard you correctly. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, if, if I heard you correctly, uh, you said your dog got shot out hunting. Yeah, I shot him to test out that daggum vest. It worked. Oh, geez. I mean, that's an expensive way to test it, though. You could. <laughs> I mean, the vest is. Uh, uh, I mean, you, you know, you've you've degraded the ability of the vest once it's been shot once. Oh yeah. Well, it got shot seven times. Well, you know, you out there with a the dog and you don't kill a deer. What are you going? You got to shoot something, right? Yeah, I mean, you have to be very, very careful with that because uh, I mean, it's very normal for a, on the chest of a human that you will break a rib. Oh, yeah, the dog was limping for uh, probably two weeks. Oh, jeez. Um, but you say you're looking for a vest for your son? Well, yeah, well, because I take him hunting all the time and. We're kind of a wild bunch, you know. We'll be drinking on some some something something, and uh, he'll be drunk, I'll be drunk, and there's just been I'd say maybe four close calls, you know what I mean? Where it, if it wouldn't have played like it did, it could have been bad for the boy. Uh huh. Well, like number one, <laughs> uh, I'd. Uh... I keep the booze out of the, is it deer hunting you're doing? Uh, we hunt, we hunt squirrels, birds. I mean, hell, I'd hunt yeah. people. If it was legal, I'd hunt people. I'm, you know. But, uh, I do know that, you know, I'd never have one of, I'd never have one of firearms if I'd, uh, even had one deer. Oh, I've it's been, just, hey, know. I've been hunting since, I've been handling guns since I was three. Um, the, uh. If I get it fitted, if I can get that, that joker strapped to, uh, to, to my son, is that, I mean, it'll protect him just like it did Jameson, right? Well, the, the best uh, concealable vest will stop uh, pistol threats. Yeah. Or other people that are out there are hunting with rifles. Oh, uh, we're all drunk. We got rifles. We got a few guns that I probably shouldn't tell you on the phone. You know what I mean? We ain't got no rocket launchers, but close to it. Because uh, if, it, if it's still at pistol velocities, like, you know, 1,000, 1,200 feet per second, yeah. The vest will stop it. Well, I'll tell you what, if I shot... At, uh, 2,000 my, feet per second, it'll probably go through the vest. The dog was six feet away, and it hit him. As soon as I shot, them bullets hit him. The question I had, though, because um, I'm... Well, I'm just going to strap it to him, uh, and I'll test... Because I, I got... We're going hunting for birds, and I got some buckshot with the uh, shotgun. So I'm oh, gonna, yeah, we'll stop buckshot. Yeah. Well, I'm going to stop... I'm going to strap it to uh, to my boy, and I'm, I'm going to shoot with a buckshot. We'll see. Because I think... I mean, it ain't, if it'll stop that, then I'll just shoot him with a buckshot. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna test the rifle out on them since you're saying don't do it anymore. But I'll test out the uh, buckshot, and I'll, if it works like it's supposed to, I'll give you guys a call and let you know. That way you can tell other people, you know, use it on kids or animals, whatever you want. Um, yeah, uh, well, oh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm strapping the dog, my, my dog's vest on my boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jimmy rig that to work. Well, I mean, if it's got eight rounds in it, I mean, it's it's been pretty, it's been degraded pretty badly. No, it's only got seven rounds. And when I shot the dog, he was running. He did kind of circles, so it ain't in the same spot. Like it's 360 degrees of bullets. And then obviously I shot him in the leg that last time, and that's when I stopped. But uh, I'm I'm just gonna try the buckshot. If it'll stop that, I'll put it on the boy. We'll go hunting. If we don't kill anything, I'll you know shoot it. Well, not not anywhere near full strength mm -hmm. to protect you. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going we're going we're going hunting on Saturday. 
get our drink on, go hunting, and then I'll, I'll test out the buckshot on them. If it don't work, I'll, you know, fork out a few hundred extra bucks. Well, buckshot, is, buckshot is easy to stop because it's round and uh, it's not that high of velocity. So there's a lot of uh, blunt trauma because it's so heavy, but it's... Yeah. Well, he, he's, 12, he's 12 years old, so if I shoot him with that buckshot, hey, them boys heal so fast nowadays. Well, hold on a second here. <laughs> I'm not real keen on testing on dogs, but you absolutely, positively, you know, don't don't put a vest on your son and do any testing. Well, it's not illegal, is it? It's just frowned upon. Uh, let me put it this way: you, you've got a vest that's already weakened with seven rounds. Yeah. You know that's that, that's in no way, no how would I let my son wear a vest that already has seven rounds in it. Yeah. You know, it's only the vest is only half there. You know. So, are you saying because it's made for a dog, it won't be it won't be strong enough for a human? No, it's the fact that if you've got seven rounds in a vest. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, that vest has been degraded. That yeah, I see what you're saying. Well like, like water gets in it, and you know, it'll just uh, I mean, water on it. Here's what you do if you want to test it. You, you don't ever want to put it on a human being to test. I mean, I've heard about this being done in South America, but oh yeah, that well, and my wife would. Be mad at me, but like I said, he's twelve. You know, he's he's a quick healer, and it will have some laughs and some memories. And you know, them jump the memories are freaking priceless, if you ask me. So yeah, I, the yeah. <laughs> Promise me you won't be doing any human testing. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, scouts on us. Um, honor. That's just that's it's way too dangerous for the brand new vest, but a vest that's already been shot and it just no way no how. Yeah, I'm I'm tracking. I'm picking up what you're putting down, house. All right, well, uh, I won't be going hunting this weekend, and I won't be shooting little Ray Ray, you know? All right. Hey, I appreciate your help, and uh, I'll definitely be buying stuff from you guys again. Your stuff really holds up. What? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, did you speak with, uh, who did you speak with before when you called us here? Uh, I bought stuff off the of Internet. Uh, Google.com, I, I put it in, and it bought it. Credit card. Oh, I mean, we only sell stuff over the phone. Yeah. But you, you must have bought this from another company. Oh, I just typed in Google Bulletproof Vest again for dogs, and this is what popped up. Okay. Plus, I'm real drunk right now, so who knows? Um, oh, um, yeah. I had a question for you. Now, if I go down to South America, I can. you're saying I can test it on real people, and that's that's legal? No, I'm not, I'm not saying it's legal. I'm just saying I've heard of it being done down there. <laughs> oh, I, know, I see what you're saying. I, I would pretty, it's. I, I, I'm not saying anything about legalities. Oh. I'm talking about what's smart and what's not smart. Yeah, I'm picking up. You're saying you don't want to try it out here in the States. You can get arrested. You go to South America, have all the fun you want. I, I pick up what you're saying. You guys are real uh, helpful. No, I'm just saying you don't want to, um, you don't want to test on a human being, period. Oh, yeah. In I'm America. Approved. Mm. Okay. Well, maybe Canada or something. But anyways, I've taken up too much of your time as it is. I appreciate it, and uh, I, I'll let you how it, I'll let you know how it goes on Saturday. Um. Hey, hold on. I gotta go. That dog's acting up again. Uh. So, all right, hey, I appreciate it, and uh, I gotta run. All right, Hoss. Hey, I appreciate the help, and I'll talk to you sure. uh, later then. Bye bye. Oh my god, 13 minutes, 22 seconds. That lasted the best conversation of my life. Let's recap on it here. Uh, not a big deal that I'm shooting on dogs. Shot the dog eight times, seven hit the vest, one didn't we hit his leg. This guy was awesome. Um, I'm just glad I got my bulletproof vest here and my shades and my gang my gang rag so <sighs> bulletproof vest for dogs that's what's in this summer basically oh, wow. I love you. uh... we hunt, we hunt squirrels, birds I mean hell I'd hunt yeah. people if it was legal I'd hunt people I'm you know 